six. I feel like you can only hold like ten bogum bolts before it separates. Like it's fifty uh, handgun rounds. It's, I think it's twenty shotgun, a hundred TMP. But I feel like it's ten bogum bolts. Which creates more of a problem because like mm, they're just taking up more space for less. Well I do really want to save those bogum bolts for at least one occasion. Why is the camera pointed up? You're gonna get it. And suddenly we have less, like way less healing items, and that is a concern. So why is he pointing up? There, we got plenty of rifle ammo. Yeah, might as well take him out as well. Oh, we have a load of rifle ammo, don't we? Don't drop anything. Awesome. Really didn't want to have to go over there. Really? Knew there was somebody in here. The way that's set up, there is unless you know he's there and you have the shotgun ready to go, there's no way you're going to avoid getting hit by him. So if you have the pistol out, he's not going to knock him back and stop him. If you have the rifle out, that's not going to stop. You're not going to be able to aim it in time. Fix this. Do I actually get to sell that? I feel like I have to put it down somewhere. Ada can't get it open, but Ashley can. Yeah, I feel like the hourglass works as a key. For some reason. Well, it's not the fanciest way to do it, but... That's probably saving me like at least seven bullets. The people down there doesn't look like it. Is that door locked? Yes it is. Which means with it being a dead end, might as well check it out. If they have a red cloak and no mask, nine times out of ten that means the head's gonna burst. There it is. You know, I feel like it's weird that we've, like, in the entire playthrough, I think, we've only come across one flash grenade. Is that just the... There's supposed to be a typewriter there, isn't there? Is that supposed to be the, uh... 
catch-all term for when the door just will not open. I can't get it open. How odd. Huh. But yeah, no, you can't go this way. We've not programmed Ada for this area. I was expecting one of those to be a snake. Where am I going? Who am I? Ooh, red herb, green herb. Okay. It feels like you get a bunch of money going through, but because you get way less treasures as Ada, you really actually don't. What are you buying? 53,000, which we're still way short for buying the Bogan. And we can't get rid of the hourglass. <laughs> it is a key. That guy got a mask. Yes, he does. Awesome. Take care of him with the crossbow. You know, if they're gonna run down here, they'll be, this will just be a nice little shooting gallery. Get out of the way. Come on. Well, if that's gonna be it. You know, I don't think that chest of money could have actually fit in there. So, nobody down there, that's good. So this, the way this scene is shown, it's clearly designed as if Leon's already been through, which of course he has. The timing would be even worse otherwise. And the chest is open, but the cage is raised. The wine bottle has been shot. But then this entire set piece is repeated, just without the reward. And we're not set for... ...an encounter with the Garador. There's no way we have uh, a decent equipment load for it. And then there's this, like, why this needs to be used here. Especially when it doesn't need to be used for Leon. I'd rather not do this, but I'm gonna need to. Get off! And there goes the healing item. Alright, now not so much of a problem. We're outside the cage. The big benefit of using the grenade there, specifically to take the lock off the door. Like, the repeated set piece, but with the use of the requirement of the hourglass, makes no real sense. Might as well keep this dude going. Since the Garador has no idea how to work this out. There we go. The repeated use of the set piece is disappointing and kind of boring. I'm sorry, didn't you realize the 
the, the situation is over. Is there anything in here? Bogan bolts? Yes, it is. Nine. Is it twelve? Twelve would make sense, considering we get them in bundles of three. You know, I've decided this isn't worth it. And again, we have an interesting idea here. Leon, I'm sorry, but I can't be seen with you. <laughs> that comes across as uh, less case if if Wesker knows I saw you, I had to kill you, and more a case of... I like you, Leon, but I can't be seen with you because you're embarrassing. Yeah, the idea is kind of neat. Where did you guys come from? God damn it. Oh, that's not fun. It's kind of neat, although... The use of the TMP is really weird, especially when TMP is completely optional and it's entirely practical not to use the TMP. And that works out. Where did you come from? Go away. Seriously, where are these guys coming from? Because they're not coming from where Leon is. Yeah, weirdly though, like after that... God, there's treasure around there. And all that stuff in there that we just not allowed. Like after that, we don't see Leon. You can look around through there, you can't see him. You can't go down here. Invisible wall. Let me try and take a look around. Leon's not there. And you look around the entire thing. Nobody's there. You just have the... repeated gunshots. Not handled quite as well as the village sequence. Like, there's one good, one thing that was actually pretty cool that came out of this playthrough. I've never seen Leon run past us like that. That was really interesting. Okay, there we are. And wasn't there something there? Mm. I forget which way actually you go that actually activates this cutscene. Leon, I got it. And then Louise dies in the way that everybody has joked about ever since this game happened. Lewis. Everybody makes the joke. I'm not gonna make the joke. <laughs> so that slam was really hard though. Now, Capcom had to have known what that was going to be seen as. Me no purpose. It's Salazar. way too obvious otherwise. My boy Salazar will make sure you follow the same fate. <laughs> Stay with me, Lois. I am a researcher hired by Sadler. He found out so this is another recycled cutscene <laughs> that really doesn't need to Don't exist talk. like this. And I don't mean in the low the low resolution because it's pre-rendered. I mean 
we don't need this entire cutscene again. The other ones that were repeated were quick enough. It was fine. Lois! Lois! I think I feel like this cutscene should have been shown more from Ada's perspective rather than just doing the Leon perspective again. We even get the close-up of the pill bottle with the huge pills in it. Was that a cut? I found Louise. Unfortunately, a bit too late. Was that a cut Did between cutscenes? No, Sadler has it. Hmm. Jeez. There will be another time. Have you had a chance to eliminate Leon? Not yet. If that's the case. Then maybe we can capitalize on his little lucky streak. Take advantage of the distraction he is causing for Sadler and his followers to retrieve the sample. Ugh. How convenient. See, that was that was a direct cut. Jack Krauser has been the subject of extensive study and research by the organization. His skills and personality have been between two cutscenes that didn't battle. even need to exist. If he weren't the best, he would become a liability that would jeopardize the rest of us. My conclusion: he's a great soldier. So you end up with the case that's also really weird. As These cutscenes showing no scenes happens, that haven't happened. This shouldn't cause any problems for us. If he does start to get restless, I can take care of him. I've studied his combat style and can deal with that arm of his if necessary. You shouldn't know about the arm yet. Krauser answers to Isn't the arm a plaga thing? who decided that Krauser should be sent to spy on the cult. He also decided to send me along. I wonder like, if it wasn't really? to keep an eye on Krauser. No doubt Krauser has already fallen to the temptation of Los Plagas and the power they represent. So you're basically admitting that the arm is a Plagas thing. So how do you know about it already? On some level, however, this may be a necessary development, as his role is to disrupt this farce of a play. That said, the yeah, this the whole separate ways answers is like three questions and raises twenty him. more. But he'll play the patsy in the end and take the fall for all of us. That's why I need to make sure things keep going exactly as they are. So are you working with Wesker is... Is Krauser working with Wesker? What's actually going on? Is it a case of you, the writers actually don't know? Okay, so chapter three was short compared to chapter two. Chapters 4 and 5 now will be really long.